So today, Apple has released macOS 14, also known as macOS Sonoma, to beta testers to be able to develop apps and test the new operating system on various Mac devices. In this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can download the update since Apple has changed the way that we download beta updates starting from now going forward. There's two methods that I'm going to be highlighting basically. The first one is a free method because well, who doesn't like free stuff? And then the second one is a paid method, but they both have their advantages and disadvantages. So we'll look at the first method or the first way you can download macOS Sonoma. So this that you see here is my screen. And if we go and open up Safari right here, you want to go ahead and use this website or go to this website that says beta.apple.com. You can see the site there, beta.apple.com. This is basically Apple's beta software program. This is available to the public and to anyone. Anyone can basically sign up and create an account. Or if you have an account like I do, then you can sign in and wait as these are coming pretty soon. And that's the disadvantage of this site because you see there it says it's coming soon. And this is because it's the public beta testing program. And usually like for macOS updates, today we received macOS 14 Sonoma developer beta one. So it's available right now to developer beta testers, but using this method that I'm showing you here, the public beta program from Apple, there's a one month and one week delay usually from the first developer beta to the first public beta if you use this free method. But again, its advantage is that it's free, but the disadvantage is that there is a delay. So if we go back to this website, once you've basically created an account signed up, you can now sign in. And if you do sign in, you see that there's an agreement that you have to agree on. And basically you can read the important stuff. It's really good and um, it's important to know what you're getting into. And you can see what this program, it allows you to view iOS, it allows you to view iPad OS and even Mac OS. Something that's pretty cool about this site is that if you log in or create an account using an iOS device or an iPhone, it will revert to here. If you create an account on iPad, it will automatically revert to there. And then since I create an account on Mac, you can see it already brought me to Mac. And you can see here, it talks about Mac OS Ventura. And this is because as we saw in the previous page, Mac OS 14 is coming pretty soon. So once you've basically created an account and you've reached to this page, you want to go ahead and click where it says, enroll your Mac. And you can see here, they do tell you to back up your Mac using Time Machine. This is really important, especially if it's a machine that you rely on and that has very important data that you don't want to lose. And basically, once you've done that, you can now open the software update page. This is different from what we are used to before, because before when it came to Apple operating systems or beta updates, we had to download a profile. But now instead of requiring a profile, Apple associates your Apple ID that you use to create this public beta account to your device. And that is how you are able to get the public beta of Mac OS 14 Sonoma when it comes out. So if you've done this, you can now go to this site. You can see they're already telling you to go to open software update so you can click there and then you can allow the site to open system preferences or if you want you can do that manually by going into settings my settings is actually opening on my main display so if you go into your settings and then go to general and go to software update you will see this option here that says beta updates and if you click there you will see your Apple ID that you use to create this account with. And then you can now click here where it says beta update off. And then if you have the public beta when it comes out in July, that's when usually the first public beta comes out. Instead of selecting macOS Ventura public beta, you can select macOS Sonoma public beta because you would have enrolled your device into the public beta. Now for me, 
it's showing the developer beta and that is because i have the developer account now i want to show you the second method or the second site that you can use to create an account and for that if we open a new tab and you go to this website this is a paid way or paid method so you want to go to this website developer.apple.com and this website if you have an account you can log in if you don't have an account you can sign up and this one in order for you to enroll your device or enroll your apple id and register it in order to receive the developer beta you need to pay about 100 us dollars per year or 130 canadian dollars per year the advantage of using the developer beta and paying the hundred dollars is that like today as the wwdc 2023 event concluded 30 or 40 minutes after the event developer beta testers received the first beta of mac os 14 sonoma so there was no need to wait for a month unlike the previous method that we mentioned where you know for the public betas you have to wait for like a month before getting updates and the disadvantage of this of course is that you have to pay a hundred dollars per year this is how it is here and those are the two methods that you can use once you've created basically a developer beta account your apple id is now associated with this account and what this means is that you can now go into your system preferences and then go to where it says general and go to where it says software update and if you click the you know where it says mac os 13.4 right there you can see here you have your apple id that you've used to create this account and then if you click where it says off you can see now you have mac os sonoma developer beta and if you select that and click done you can see to check for an update and once it's done it's gonna give you the first developer beta of mac os 14 sonoma as that is the one that's here so you can see for me mac os 14 beta 1 comes in at 12.94 gigs it's a pretty hefty update and this is because you know it's a new generation of uh, an update that we're getting into and you can read more about that so those are the two methods or two accounts that you can use to download mac os 14 sonoma so they both have their own advantages and disadvantages but this is how i'm getting mac os 14 sonoma and since apple changed the way that we now download these beta updates you don't need a developer profile or like a profile to be able to get the updates now apple uses your apple id and authenticates it once it's registered into the public beta program or the developer beta program and depending on which program you are registered in that is how you're going to be receiving this update so that's about it for me i will be covering mac os 14 sonoma pretty soon some of the changes settings or how to make it work for you so if that's something that you're interested in definitely do subscribe and i'll see you in the next video peace